Welcome to Fairfax County Public Schools Preschool Transportation. Office of Transportation Services and the Big Yellow Bus. The Office of Transportation Services is responsible for providing the safe and efficient transportation of all eligible students to and from schools and school activities each day. To accomplish this monumental task, a team of dedicated routing, safety, and administrative specialists combined with a host of drivers and attendants work together to maintain a high level of service for all of our clients. The Big Yellow Bus. The school bus is the safest vehicle on the road. Your child is much safer taking a school bus to and from school than riding in a private vehicle. Students are about 70 times more likely to get to school safely when taking a school bus instead of traveling by car. Fairfax County Public School Buses also have audio video recording equipment so that each ride is able to be viewed at a later date. Who is on the big yellow bus? Trained professionals. Our school bus drivers have commercial driver's license. They have successfully completed the rigorous Fairfax County Public School driver training course. Their driving records are continually monitored. They are fully trained in CPR and student first aid. And they participate in ongoing professional development training, as well as having completed drug screening, physical testing, and background checks. Also trained professionals are school bus attendants. They are not guaranteed on every bus, but if they are present on your child's bus, they have successfully completed the rigorous Fairfax County Public School bus attendant training course. They are fully trained in CPR and student first aid. They participate in ongoing professional development training and have also had a background check completed. For what are the driver and attendant responsible? They must provide the safest possible transportation to and from school for your child. They ensure that students are properly secure for transport. They provide intervention or support during medical emergencies. They maintain student information confidentiality. And they notify parents of bus stop locations and approximate pickup and drop off times. For what are parents responsible? Ensure your school and teacher have accurate address, phone, and if applicable, daycare information. Also ensure that any medical information is communicated to the teacher and public health nurse. Drivers are not permitted to make any changes to bus routes or take updated information from parents. Parents should be outside waiting at the bus stop location five minutes prior to the bus's scheduled arrival for pickup and drop off. Ensure the individual meeting the student at drop-off is at least 18 years of age and has been pre-authorized through the school and teacher. Students who are not met by someone 18 years of age or older will be returned to school. Prior to boarding the school bus each day, ensure that all equipment transported and used with the student is in proper working order. Where is the bus stop? Students attending the preschool programs may receive transportation provided by Fairfax County Public Schools to and from home to their base preschool program. Bus stop locations for the preschool program are placed at a location that is the closest access point to the residents that a school bus may travel based on FCPS guidelines. Being secure on the bus. All preschool students are secured for transport using one of the following. A child safety restraint system, a seat belt, a parent provided car seat, a safety vest, or a wheelchair. The type of securement used may be discussed during your child's IEP meeting. Wheelchairs. For transport, wheelchairs must be transportable, meaning that they have sufficient strength to be tied down on the bus, have an attached seat belt, have working brakes, and be in overall good repair with no missing or broken components. When the bus arrives at school, students remain seated until school staff is at the bus door to receive them. 
Teachers or assistants greet each student at the bus door and escort him or her to the classroom. Students are always with an adult when loading and unloading and entering and exiting the school building. The equipment remains with the student and is securely stored in the school building during the school day. Once school is over, what happens at the end of the school day? Teachers or assistants escort the students to the school bus. Again, students are always with an adult when loading and unloading and entering and exiting the school building. The driver and attendant secure the students for transportation home. Each student is met at the bus door by the adult receiving him. Students will be returned to school if an age appropriate authorized person is not at the bus stop to meet them. The equipment stays with the student so it will be available for the next school day. Who do you need to contact with questions or concerns? The website listed below has the transportation supervisor names by school and then there are area transportation phone numbers that you may use. Takeaways. Be at the bus stop five minutes before the bus is scheduled to arrive for pickup and for drop off. Contact the school and teacher with any updated information. Drivers are not permitted to make any changes to the bus routes. All equipment must be in good repair and with the student every day. And the person meeting the student must be at least 18 years of age and have authorization to accept the student. Enjoy the school bus ride.